Hello everyone, I want to welcome us to today's service. We're going to begin again with a word of prayer. Can we lift up a voice wherever we are as we begin to bless the Lord today and magnify his holy name. Let's give him glory and praise for his mercies that endure it forever. He's a faithful God, a righteous king. He is a ruler over everything. Let's bless him again for another beautiful month he has brought us into. Let's thank him because of all the good things he has in stock for us. The Bible says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of men the things which he has prepared for them that love him. And all of these things he reveals to us by his Holy Spirit. Can we just thank him for the revelation of all the good things he has for us this month? Glory to God. He has a lot of beautiful, awesome, awesome things in stock for us this new month. I want us to thank him for it. Father, we want to thank you for all the good things you have in stock for us. Let's lift up our voice wherever we are and just give him praise because he's in his faithfulness. He has provided bountifully for us this new month. Glory, glory, glory. We want to thank you. We want to glorify you. We want to magnify your name. We want to exalt your name. We want to lift you high. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We want to bless you, Jesus. We thank you for all you have in stock for us this beautiful month. Thank you, Father, because we are your heritage. We are the seed of the righteous, and you have provided bountifully for us. Brothers and sisters, he has provided bountifully for us this month. He has gone ahead of us, his angels are on assignment this month and I believe that it's going to be a month of good things. Glory to God. We want to thank you, Father, because this month is a month of good things. You have sent your angels to go ahead of us and we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you for the ministry of angels. Can we thank him for the ministry of angels? Every day of this month, the angels of his presence will minister unto us. The angels of his presence will bring strength unto us the angels of his presence we order our steps around the Bible says that angels came and ministered unto Jesus glory to God and this month we will enjoy the ministry of angels in an uncommon way father we receive the ministry of angels this month in a special way in the name of Jesus they are ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who are heirs of salvation. We thank you, Lord, because we are the heirs of salvation. We give you praise. Can we give him praise? Because we are heirs of salvation. We are heirs of salvation. Blessed be your holy name, Father, for all you have in stock for us. Thank you for the salvation you are provided in advance. We say, be thou glorified in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we come before you today with a heart ready to receive our spirits receptive to your word. We've come to receive the word of eternal life. We have come to receive illumination that comes only by you. I pray that my tongue, Father, will be like the pen of the ready writer. I pray, Holy Spirit, you will grant faith to every heart. And Lord, you will transform our lives. We say, blessed be your holy name in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Everyone said, Amen and Amen and Amen and Amen. Now take a few minutes and reach out to your friends and family and invite them to join us. Tell them that we are live, the service is on, and God has something powerful, very prophetic service we are having today in God's divine presence. And I believe that He is going to be transforming our lives in a powerful, powerful way. Hallelujah. Now it's also going to be a communion service, so I want to encourage you to get yourself a communion element, get a piece of bread, and get a, a glass of juice, fruit juice, or any drink that can suffice, and we're going to be having communion today. I believe that this month promises to be a beautiful month as God prepares us for all the beautiful things that he has in stock for us. Amen. Now, reach out to your friends and family, invite them to join us, and um, as we do that, we're going to just worship the Lord with this beautiful peace, and afterwards, we'll go straight into the Word.
All right. Let's go right into the Word of God. And we're going to read today from the book of John, chapter 14. God gave me a word concerning this month that we're going into. The Lord told me that this month shall be a month of the comfort of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Can you say that after me wherever you are? The month of the comfort of the Holy Ghost. This month shall be a month of the comfort of the Holy Ghost. And we're going to just speak from the light of words of prophecy which the Holy Spirit has inspired in our hearts. And I believe these words will bring you strength. They will bring you encouragement. They will bring you transformation. And let's just look at a few scriptures, you know, as we go right into this message today. John's Gospel, chapter 14, we are going to read from verse number 16. Our Lord Jesus Christ is speaking to us. He said, I will not leave you. Where are we? John 14, verse 16. He said, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Hallelujah. Even the Spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seared him not, neither knoweth him, but you know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. Verse 18 says, I will not leave you comfortless. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come unto you. Hallelujah. How true the Holy Ghost. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come unto you. Verse number 26 of John 14, the Bible says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Hallelujah. That's the Holy Ghost. He is the Comforter. And the Lord said that this month we have entered into will be a month of the operation of the Holy Spirit in his comforting role. He will be bringing supernatural comfort to every believer during the course of this month. Hallelujah. It shall be called the month of the comfort of the Holy Ghost. Amen. John 15 again. Jesus speaking about the comforter. John 15, in verse number 26, our Lord Jesus said, When the Comforter is come, and may I announce to you that he is here. The Holy Ghost is his name. He is here with us. And he is ready to bring the fullness of the manifestation of his comforting work to your life. He says, When the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Holy Spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. Hallelujah. And ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. And then also in chapter 16, verse 7, our Lord Jesus Christ speaking, he said, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And brothers and sisters, he went away many years ago. And on the day of Pentecost, the Comforter came. And I'm here to announce to you that the Holy Spirit is the Comforter and He is here. And God wants us to open up our hearts and open up our spirits to receive His comforting ministry in the course of this month in a way we have never known before. He said to me that this month shall be the month of the comfort of the Holy Ghost. The comfort of the Spirit shall be seen in manifestation in different aspects of your lives. Many of us will find the Spirit of God at work in different aspects of your lives, bringing solace, bringing relief, bringing encouragement, bringing supernatural assistance to you. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? 
in the light of what God wants to do, I want to read a few promises which God gave to us about comfort in Scripture, beginning from the book of Genesis, chapter, the book of Isaiah, rather, chapter number 40. God gave us some words about comfort. And I believe that these words are important. You know, we, it is important for us to have these words on our minds because they are going to be the platform of what the Holy Ghost is going to be doing in our lives during the course of this month. I believe that these words are yea and amen. I believe these words are not bound. These words will bear fruit as we mix our faith with them. Isaiah chapter 40, the Bible says, verse 1, it says, Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith your God. And I believe the Holy Spirit is asking me to bring you words of comfort. Actually, verse 2 says, Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem. This is the divine commandment of the Lord. And I align myself into this divine commandment of the Spirit. And I bring you words of comfort. I bring you words of encouragement. I declare unto you comfort. Comfort. Comfort of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I declare unto you comfort. Comfort in every aspect of your endeavors. Comfort on every side. Supernatural comfort. Not a comfort that comes through the manifestations of the physical things that we desire. But a comfort that comes by the Holy Ghost. That results in those manifestations of the things that we desire. Hallelujah. He says, comfort ye. Comfort ye my people. Say it, your God, and I say to you by the Spirit of God, comfort is yours. Comfort is yours. The Lord will comfort you in the works of your hands. And the course of this month will be characterized by several actions of the Spirit resulting in supernatural comfort, supernatural consol consolation by the Holy Ghost. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, say it, your God. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem. Speak ye comfortably to the church. Speak ye comfortably to the house of Diplomas Assembly and to every believer. And I align myself with these words and I bring you words of encouragement and words of comfort. The darkness may have lingered, but light is rising in the horizon, say at the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. It may have seemed to belong Emenigi, Zaki, Kadad, Zunuga, Ele, say at the Spirit of the Lord. It may have seemed to be a long time, but I'm doing a quick work, say at the Lord, and I'm cutting it short in righteousness, and my light shall arise, and it shall be seen upon you as my glory in manifestation. For the days of gloominess are come to an end, and the days of an uprising, a day, the days of joy, are upon the church of the living God, say at the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, speaking comfortably to Jerusalem, Jerusalem, cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. And I declare that to you, your warfare is accomplished. Your days of conflicts are come to an end. Say at the Spirit of the Lord, your iniquity is pardoned. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And the Spirit of the Lord is saying, get ready. Get ready. Rise up in faith and get ready. Rise up. Get ready. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight Yemadigi Kakadigina in every aspect of your life. Make room for the Holy Ghost. Baga Kikinana for the manifestations of the Spirit is coming upon you in different ramifications of your life. Not by works of righteousness which you have done, but by the actions of grace. For the chief shepherd of the flock have been standing in the session for the church of the living God and the voice of the sheep shepherd the voice of the chief shepherd has been accepted before the ruler of the heavens and the earth the ancient of days and his spirit is being outpoured even upon the nations of the earth because of the intercessory work of the high priest of the church Jesus Christ of Nazareth say at the Lord of hosts I say that to you to encourage you I say that to you to let you know 
that he who ever lives to make intercession for you, his voice of interception has been accepted before the Lord of hosts. And I hear one angel saying unto the other, cry ye unto the church upon the earth, cry ye unto the inhabitants in the land, that the days of mercy are upon the inhabitants of the land, for the voice of the high priest has been accepted before the most high God. Can you shout amen? Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Brothers and sisters, the Bible describes Jesus as the high priest. And the scripture says he ever liveth to make intercession for us. And this is what I hear the Spirit saying. The Spirit says the Most High God has received the voice of the of intercession of our high priest. And that voice of intercession of our high priest has caused the Most High to open up his bowels of mercies for this time. The mercy for this time. The mercy for this month is being outpoured right now and the angels of God have been dispatched across the nations of the world and it's time for God to favor Zion again. It's time for us to walk in the light of his mercy, saith the Lord of hosts. And so the Holy Ghost is saying, get ready. Rise up from gloominess. Rise up from being down for the days of comfort are around us and they are here and now. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Isaiah 40 verse 4 says, In these times, every valley shall be exalted. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. The crooked places shall be made straight. And the rough places shall be made plain. When shall this be? Magadigi sosona nana. Yakadiga kanakiki nana. When shall it be said, Agakinunu Soso, that that which was spoken of is come to pass? And I hear the Spirit saying, Now is the time. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. This is the season where every valley shall be exalted. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the crooked places shall be made straight. And the rough places shall be made plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see together. The eyes of the heathen shall see. And taste of the goodness of the Lord. Because of the seed of the righteous in the earth. The glory of God shall cover every nation under heaven. saith the Lord. And that glory shall be the great goodness of the King of kings and Lord of lords. Upon all flesh that dwell upon the planet. saith the spirit of the Lord. Lord. Comfort ye, comfort ye, for the days of comfort are come. For the month shall be the month of the comfort of the Holy Ghost. Say at the Spirit of the Lord. It shall be a time of consolation. A time of uprising. A time of rising up. A time of restoration. The Lord gave me a few words concerning this month and what he's going to be doing. He said, it shall be, this time of comfort shall be a time of rest from toils. A time of rest from toils. I read a scripture to you, Genesis chapter 5, verse 29. Genesis chapter 5 and verse 29. Thank you, Jesus. Genesis chapter 5. And verse 29, this scripture reveals the birth of Noah. The Bible says they called his name Noah in the day of his birth, saying, This same shall comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands, because of the ground which had been cursed. It says, This same shall comfort us. By the betting of Noah. The word Noah in the Hebrew is the word rest. The Holy Spirit said to me, In this month of comfort, there shall be a betting of a new anointing. 
that anointing shall be called the anointing of rest and it will be bring comfort upon the nations of the world I prophesy this over your life. I prophesy this upon your family. I prophesy this upon your city. I prophesy this upon your nation. The anointing of the Spirit of God in the area of rest, I call it into manifestation in every aspect of your endeavors. In the name of Jesus, this anointing will bring you comfort. It will bring you rest on every side. In the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost said to me, that this month shall be unto us not just the month of comfort but it shall be a month of great encouragement there will be divine manifestations of things in your life you will see the assistance and intervention of heaven like you've never known before that your heart will be greatly encouraged by the spirit your heart will be greatly lifted up lift your hands right where you are and receive it even now in the name of Jesus father we receive it we receive it we receive your comfort we receive your rest we receive your supernatural encouragement yes 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 the word comfort means protection in the midst of fearful circumstances the psalmist said though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thy rod and thy staff they will bring me comfort Comfort here speaks about supernatural protection in the midst of fearful circumstances. And this is what the Spirit said to me, and I want you to mix your faith with this. Mix your faith with this, because it's going to be an all-rounded manifestation of the Spirit. I'm declaring it because the Bible says the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. Why? Because the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. In other words, when we make ourselves God's mouthpiece and declare the glory of the Lord, that glory becomes revealed. And I make my tongue to you today, the mouthpiece of God. And as I declare these words to you, I want you to know that the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And this is what the Spirit of the Lord says as you declare unto you. Remember, he said, speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem. And that's what I'm doing to you right now. I'm bringing you words of comfort because the Holy Ghost said, as you do so. The Holy Ghost said, as you do so. Psalm chapter number 71. Go over there if you have your Bibles. And I want you to receive these words by the Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Receive these words by the Spirit of the Lord. Receive these words by the Spirit of the Lord. Psalm chapter number 71. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Receive these words by the Spirit of the Lord. I am going to read to you, if you have your Bibles, verse number 21. Psalm chapter 71 and verse 21. The Bible says, And thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. The Holy Spirit said to me, he said, this comfort that is coming into manifestation in the lives of my children shall find its operation on every side. It shall be comfort on every side, on every side, on every side. In the name of Jesus, I declare this unto you. Comfort on every side. If you believe, say, I receive it. If you believe, say, I take it. If you believe, say, it's mine. Say, I receive comfort on every side. I receive consolation on every side. I receive rest on every side. The Lord shall increase your greatness in this month we have come into. And he will comfort you on every side in the name of Jesus. We believe and therefore we declare it into your life. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Go back to Genesis. Go back to Isaiah where we are reading from. Where we are using for a test, Isaiah 40. Go back to Isaiah 40. Look at what verse 9 says. It says, O Zion, that bring us good tidings, get thee up into the high mountain. O Jerusalem, that bring us good tidings, lift up that voice with strength. Lift it up, be not afraid. Say ye to the cities of Judah, behold your God. In obedience to that scripture, I lift up my voice in strength. 
and I speak to you. I speak to the cities of Judah. I speak to the cities of the nations of the world. I say unto you, behold your God. The glory of the Lord is coming in the name of Jesus. The comfort of the Holy Ghost is rising. The manifestation of the Spirit is coming into your house. Behold your God. Behold the Lord God. Behold the Lord God will come with a strong hand and I'm saying that anointing is upon you now. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is called the comforting ministry of the Holy Spirit. It's come. The comforter is come and now his comforting work is at work right now. I proclaim it in the name of Jesus. I lift up my voice in strength and I declare unto you for you are the city of the living God. The Bible says great is our God and greatly to the praise in the city of our God beautiful for situation is the Lord God upon Mount Zion you are the city of our God and right now I declare unto you as the city of the living God your God with a strong hand of comfort your God with a strong hand of comfort Maka Sasabatana and his ham outstretched to rule and his reward with him in his hand and his work of mercy. Abakadigi alakinu soso gone ahead of him. Ah ha ha ha. Yes, he rises upon you. His spirit rises upon you. Yes, that's what I hear the Holy Ghost saying. Behold, the Lord God will come with a strong hand and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. I believe these words. I believe these words are working. I believe these words are working. Look at verse 28. In case, in case you are in doubt of what we're talking about, he says in verse 28, Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no setting of his understanding. He giveth power unto the faint. And that's what is happening this month. It's going to be a month of divine exchange. He's going to be taking your weakness, your weariness. He's going to be exchanging it with his power. He's going to be taking your, your being downcast, your areas of, of tragedy, your areas of conflict. And he's exchanging it with his strength. That's what it means to bring comfort. Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the Lord, the creator of the earth, fainted not, neither is weary. There's no setting of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord, hallelujah. You know, we started waiting upon the Lord, and this is what we can expect. He says, they shall renew their strength, hallelujah. And I see your strength strength coming back to you again. I see your faith rising again. I see hope rising in your spirit in the name of Jesus. I see courage rising in your heart. I see you rising up again with your vision. I see you mounting up with wings as eagles and you shall run and not be weary. You shall walk and not faint. Supernatural manifestation of the comfort of the Holy Ghost. It will bring renewal of strength. It will cause you to mount up with wings as eagles and you shall run and not be weary you shall walk and not faint oh hallelujah you shall walk and not faint i'm telling you these words are really great psalm uh, isaiah 66 isaiah 66 i'm talking about the comfort of the holy ghost I, i'm preaching about it because i want you to expect it this is what the spirit said he said the month of, of this month that we have entered into shall be a month of the comfort of the holy ghost that's the thought saith the lord that is a rhema word i got from the spirit that's what i heard the lord saying he said i will cause my comfort to be upon the church like never before if you have your bibles isaiah 66 let's read let's read isaiah 66 verse 8 who had heard such a thing? 
who had seen such things shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day shall coronavirus be brought to an end suddenly or shall a nation be born at once for as soon as Zion travailed she brought forth her children hallelujah in other words there will be sudden manifestations from the realm of the spirit he says shall I bring to birth and not cause to bring forth say the Lord shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb say it that God verse number 10 is where we are coming down to rejoice ye with Jerusalem if you have your neighbors there tap that neighbor and say rejoice with me because I am supernatural Jerusalem hallelujah I am the city of the living God he says and be glad with her glory to God all ye that love her rejoice for joy with her all ye that mourn for her why verse number 11 says that ye may suck and be satisfied with the breasts of her consolations. Glory to God. What consolations that is in plural. God is saying, I'm going to bring multifaceted consolations to you, into your life, into every area of your life. So he says to everyone, rejoice. Rejoice with Emmanuel Ogbechi so that you can suck and be satisfied with the breasts of her consolations. That you may milk out and be delighted with the abundance of her glory. It's my time of glory. The glory of God is being manifested in every area of my life. Verse 12. For thus saith the Lord, behold, I will extend peace to her like a river. Say amen. Say amen. Say I take it. Say I claim it. Say it's mine. Say I grab it. In the name of Jesus, make that declaration. Say I receive this month the peace of God like a river. In the name of Jesus, in every area of my life, I believe and I declare nothing shall be missing. Nothing shall be broken. Everything missing restored. Everything broken healed. In the name of Jesus, I believe and I receive Peace like a river. Can you declare that in the name of Jesus Christ? Say, I receive peace like a river. In the name of Jesus. This is my word for this month. I have peace like a river because it is my month of the comfort of the Holy Ghost. It is my month of the comfort of the Holy Ghost. In this month of the comfort of the Holy Ghost, God says, I will extend peace to you like a river. And Lord, we receive it. We receive it with our faith. We receive it with our spirit. We receive it with our soul. We receive peace in our body. Nothing missing in our bodies. Nothing broken in our body. Peace, soundness of health in our body, in our bloodstreams, in our organs. We receive your peace in the name of Jesus. Upon our body, we receive your peace. Baka kasa manana na baka ele mando soso kanana soso nana kia reach out and lay claim say at the Lord for the hands of faith is the hands of receiving reach out and receive with a heart of thanksgiving for it is given already waiting to be received for those who receive they will become partakers of that which has already been settled before the beginning of the ages say at the spirit of the Lord. Reach out and receive peace like a river. In the name of Jesus. This is why God said that people should rejoice with us. Because he says I extend peace to her like a river. Father we receive this word. We believe and claim it. We declare it is ours now. It is ours now. It is ours now. Peace like a river. And the glory of the Gentiles like a flowing stream. Everybody listen to this. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will extend the glory of the Gentiles like a flowing stream. In the name of Jesus, we receive that. Can you say that? Say, I receive that. I receive that by faith. That's talking about prosperity. The glory of the Gentiles there is talking about prosperity. The wealth of the wicked is coming to the righteous like a stream in these days. And we receive it in the name of Jesus. We receive its manifestation. The glory of the Gentiles pour into us like a flowing stream. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Then shall ye suck, ye shall be born upon her sides, <laughs> and be 
dangled upon her knees. Thank you, Jesus. As one whom his mother comforted, so will I comfort you. Let's pause and think about that. What we just read is a revelation of half what God said he intends to do in this time of the comfort of the Holy Ghost. He said, so will I comfort you and ye shall be comforted in Jerusalem. How? By the extension of peace like a river. By the glory of the Gentiles coming unto you like streams flowing streams and you shall suck and you shall be born upon her sides and be dangled upon her knees in the name of Jesus. Father, we receive this word, we receive its manifestation in our lives. And when you see this, are you ready? Come on. Are you ready for this? He said, when you see this, your heart shall rejoice. Glory, 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 glory. Your heart shall rejoice and your bones shall flourish like an herb. Hallelujah. And the hand of the Lord shall be known towards his servants and his indignation toward his enemies. Everything that stands as an enemy in your life, everything that stands as an enemy, of the plan and the purpose of God. Everything that stands as an enemy will see the indignation of God during the course of this month in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that into your life in the name of Jesus. The judgment of God comes upon sickness, comes upon disease, comes upon financial difficulties and any challenge that you may be faced with in the name of Jesus. In this season of comfort of the Holy Ghost, say I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm turned on. This is really amazing. Oh, the time of comfort of the Holy Ghost is called the time of mercy. The time of comfort is called a time of mercy. Therefore, this month, the mercy of the Lord will shine like light. God will show his mercy like we have never known before. God will show his mercy. Isaiah 49 verse 13. Sing, O heavens, be joyful, O earth. Break forth into singing, O mountains. For the Lord hath comforted his people. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Every mountain in your life becomes a reason for you to sing. Because the Lord brings comfort to you. He says, and will have mercy upon his afflicted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Zion, look at this, verse 14. But Zion said, the Lord has forsaken me, and my God, Lord has forgotten me. You know, there are people that have been saying that. Oh, God, where are you? Oh, God, I don't know what is going on. Hey, God has a word for you. Verse 15, he says, Can a woman forget her sucking child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget you. This is God speaking. God says, verse 16, Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. Thank you, Jesus. He says, I have graven you upon the palms of my hands. In other words, I have tattooed your name, your face, your life into my arms. And I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, when they were putting nails through the hands of Jesus on the cross, that was God tattooing you into his palms and every time the hands of Jesus are lifted up before the most high in heaven all God sees through the holes of his hands is you and I we are the ones right in the palms of his arms and he said how can I forget you I will not forget you and I want you to know brothers and sisters to, that, that he, he cannot forget you and this month is your month of remembrance it is your month of divine restoration it is your month of the comfort of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Four things you can expect 
Four things you can expect by the actions of God's mercy. Four things you can expect by the actions of God's mercy during the course of this month. Number one, divine illumination. Divine illumination. Many of you will suddenly hear the voice of the Spirit saying, this is the way we walk here in it. Are you listening to me? Divine illumination. In areas where you need to make crucial decisions. In areas where you need to make divine, you know, make, make choices. The illumination of the spirit will be upon your spirit. Light will shine brightly in your heart because his mercy will be upon you mightily. Psalm 136 verse 7. Psalm 136 verse 7. Secondly, there will be a bringing out from every form of affliction by the action of God's mercy during the course of this month. There will be a divine bringing out. He will bring you like he brought Israel out of the house of bondage. And I speak that to you now in the name of Jesus. Out of any entrapping, difficult circumstance or situation you may be in, I declare a bringing out, a bringing out, a bringing out in the name of Jesus. Psalm 136 verse 11. There will be supernatural provisions and supply for every need in your life. The top thing that will be happening. He will be giving food to all flesh. Maka sasa palatunako kasala. Men will come and minister to you in every area of need. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 136, verse 25. And for business people, the businesses of the righteous shall enjoy uncommon access and uncommon favor, saith the Spirit of the Lord. In this month, so get ready if you're a business person. No room for dryness. No room for stagnation. No room for scarcity. Because the mercy of the Lord will cause your business to blossom during the course of this month. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Comfort means that God will be sending prosperity to you like never before. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 17. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 17. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we receive these words and we praise your name for it. Zechariah 1, chapter 1, verse 17. Cry, yet saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, My cities, Can you see the word in plural there? Cities. Who are his cities? We are the city of the living God. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. I am the city of the living God. Say that. I am the city of the living God. Now, God says, my city is true prosperity shall yet be spread abroad. And the Lord shall yet comfort Zion. The Lord shall yet comfort Zion. And shall yet choose Jerusalem. Did you see that? In the time of comfort, it will be the time of prosperity. And I call the anointing of prosperity upon your household, upon your life, upon all your endeavors in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The time of comfort will be a time of restoration, a time of supernatural assistance, a time of supernatural relief. God will send men to nurse you. Can you say amen to that? Say amen to that. Say amen to that. 2 Corinthians 7. 2 Corinthians 7. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> God will send men to nurse you. During the course of this month, he will send men to nurse you. <laughs> 2 Corinthians 7, verse 6. Hallelujah. The Bible says, nevertheless, God that comforted 
those that are cast down. Are you ready for the comfort of the Holy Ghost? Amen. It says, God that comforted those that are cast down. And those of you who have been cast down, this is the thought saith the Lord for you. Your God is a God who comforts those that are cast down. And he has sent me to tell you that there is comfort waiting for you. And it's here and now. And you need to grab it with your faith and just begin to declare that I receive the comfort of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. The Bible says God that comforted those that are cast down comforted us by the coming of Titus. The word Titus Tados was one of Paul's partners but the word translated Tados in the Greek is the word Nos. Nos. Say that word Nos. N-U-R-O-S-E. By the coming of Tados, whose name means a nurse. One who brings refreshing. One who brings consolation. One who comes to aid, to assist, to support, to encourage. I prophesy into your life that your Titus's are coming to you. During the course of this month, you will witness the ministry of Titus's. Supernatural angels of God sent to nurse you, sent to minister to you in the name of Jesus. The God that comforted those that are cast down in the name of Jesus. His angels are hereby dispatched to you in your area of need like the minister to Jesus and strengthen him in the time of need. I Call those angels to minister in your life. I call them to minister in your behalf. I call them to stand by you. I call them to bring you the word you need from heaven that will change your situation. I call the ministry of angels into manifestation in your life in every area of need in the name of Jesus. Like angels brought provisions to Elijah. So I call angels to minister to you in every area as they bring healing to those that are sick. I call them to bring Bring healing to your body. The same spirit of him that raised up Christ from the dead quickens your mortal body and brings healing to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I feel the anointing of God's spirit and I'm going to bring this message to close as we receive communion right now. If you have your communion elements, I want you to get your communion elements and we're going to receive communion. We are going to receive communion right now. I am going to minister this to you. Get your communion elements quickly. Get your communion elements quickly. Jesus said, this do as often as you eat the bread and drink the wine until the day of Christ's of Christ return. It says, this do as often as you can. Do it often. Receive the communion. Receive the cup. And, and what we want to do is that we are going to take up these communion elements and stand our grounds and receive the comfort of the Holy Ghost that is ours. The Bible tells us that God has remembered his covenant forever. Even the word which is commanded to a thousand generations. Psalm 105 he says in verse 8, the Lord has remembered his covenant forever. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations. Which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant saying unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of thy inheritance. Bible says in verse 12 when they were but a few men in number, yea, very few and strangers in it, when they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another kingdom, he suffered no man to do them wrong yea, he reproved kings for their sakes saying, touch not man anointed and do my prophets no harm touch not man anointed and do my prophets no harm as we lift up this communion elements right now we take our stance in that word of the covenant that says touch not man anointed and do my prophets no harm touch not man anointed in every area in every aspect of your lives in the name of Jesus the Bible says in the night that Jesus was betrayed after supper, he took the bread and the brick it and said, take, this is my body, which is broken for you. And the Bible says that the same bread that we eat, this bread is our initiation into the body of Jesus, into the anointing that is on his body. And as we partake of this bread right now, we declare that we partake of the anointing that is on the body of Jesus. And that anointing runs through our body, that anointing removes our yokes. 
and destroys our bodies. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that touch not Mati Kanani is upon us. It is written, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. I speak to you devils of darkness. I speak to you principalities and powers in the name of Jesus across the nations, across the church of Jesus Christ. It is written, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. And I command you right now to back off from the lives of God's people in the name of Jesus Father, as we partake of the body of Jesus, we receive the resurrection life that is at work in that body now. Brothers and sisters, we, we share in the death of the body of Jesus, but much more than that, we now share in the resurrection life in his body. There is resurrection life right now flowing in his body. So as we are eating this bread, we are drinking, we are eating in to the resurrection life and every aspect of our life receives the touch of resurrection power in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we bless the bread and we partake of it everywhere in Jesus' name. Everyone say amen. Now, if you have the bread, go ahead and eat it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Bible says after supper, he took the cup and said, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. It is a new covenant that is enacted in my blood. It is a covenant of grace that gives you complete access to the Father. A covenant that gives you a new and living way unto the Father. He said, this do... As often as you drink this cup in remembrance of me. And so, Father, as we drink this cup, this cup is called a cup of blessing. We drink into the grace of God. We drink into the unmerited favors of God. We declare in the name of Jesus, it is our set time. Our set time for favor. We receive the comfort of the Holy Spirit upon every aspect of our lives this month in the name of Jesus. Father, as we drink into this cup, we declare that Abraham's blessings come upon us, upon every area of our lives. In the name of Jesus, we are blessed in our fields of endeavors. We are blessed in the city. We are blessed in the field. In the name of Jesus, we receive the fullness of the blessing that is in the cup of blessing that is ours in Christ. In Jesus' name, you can drink the cup. Father, we thank you. Thank you for all that is ours through the blood of Jesus. Thank you for comfort of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father, we receive comfort every day of this month. Wherever you are, say these words after me. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I receive, I receive the comfort, the comfort of the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Ghost. Say that after me. Say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I receive, I receive supernatural comfort on every side. On every side in the name of Jesus I receive restoration in the name of Jesus of everything the devil stole of everything the devil stole declare that I receive supernatural restoration I receive rest on every side can you declare that I receive rest on every side in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, the spirit of him that raised up Christ from the dead, say that, the spirit of him that raised up Christ from the dead quickens my mortal bodies, quickens my mortal body. I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. Declare that. I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. I receive, I receive the glory of Gentiles. The glory of Gentiles flowing to me like a river. 
flow into me like a river. I receive the peace of God. Say that. I receive the peace of God like a river. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, if you've not made Jesus the Lord of your life, I want to pray with you now. If you would like to give your heart to Jesus, say these words after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I receive you into my heart as my Lord and Savior. I believe you died for my sins and I thank you for your sacrifice for me on the cross. I am born again now in Jesus' name. Yes, you are. The Bible says with the heart, man believes unto righteousness. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Now, we don't want to close the service without giving you an opportunity to bring your tithes and your offerings unto your high priest, Jesus Christ, who is the high priest of the New Testament and the receiver of your tithes. The Bible says Abraham brought his tithes to Melchizedek and the Bible says Melchizedek blessed him. And today the Bible says Jesus is a receiver of your tithes and he's a receiver of your offerings. And the scripture tells us that he is ever living to make intercession for you and administering his peace into your life. If you have your tithes and your offerings, I'm going to pray over it right now as you offer it unto the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over the tithes, I pray over the offerings. I call the blessing over the seeds of your people. In the name of Jesus, as they give, I declare that the devourer is rebuked for your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ, you give, it is given back to you good measure pressed down shaking together running over men give to your bosom at these times in the name of the lord jesus christ amen and amen now you can use our church banking details as displayed on the screen you know to give your tithes and your offerings or if you like us to send it to you directly if you are not within a country where you know the banking details covers we'll be delighted to let you know how you can give your tithes and your offerings if you communicate with us if you have not yet downloaded our mobile app i encourage you to get on the google play store or the i store and download our mobile app the name of the app is called drm L-I-V-E, D-R-M Live, D-R-M Live. Or you could search for Pastor Emmanuel Ogbeche on the iStore or on the Play Store and download our mobile app. Within the app, there's a giving button there and you can find some of our banking details also there within the mobile app. Now, this has been your host, Pastor Emmanuel Ogbeche, declaring to you that this month shall be your month of the comfort of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. I love you. God bless you richly, and bye-bye. Thank you for joining us for today's service. We encourage you to be a doer of the word you have heard. We pray over your tithes and offerings today. We pray that God will multiply them as you give them to the Lord in Jesus' name. You can use any of our church banking information to give your offerings. Remember to download our mobile app called DRM Live from the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. God bless you richly.